Hi there. In this quick video, I'm going to show you how to remove this part of the tail light. I have a separate video showing how to remove this one. So let's get to it. Okay, so to do this, you need to come in the trunk on the side that you are working on, this or this. Both of these panels are uh, actually uh, removable. This one a bit harder because it doesn't have something to pull onto, but as you can see, I can pull it out if required. But what I need to do is on this particular side. So let me see. You see that square in there? We need to undo that one. And for that, we need something like this. It's from a wrench. And an extender. Let's plug these two, one into the other. And I'm going to give you the dimension of this uh, square in a second. So this thing aside has about 13 millimeters. Now, maybe it also tells us on this thing. Nope, it just tells us the material it's made from. Anyway, that's about it. So, you simply come in here. Let me try and also film and plug this thing in. This is not going to be easy. Especially with the ratchet mechanism. And it's plugged in. And at this point, you need to set your ratchet the correct way. Bye. And undo this thing fully. I think it also works by hand at this point. Yeah, it works by hand. So there's that. You need to undo this. And this is out. As you can see, even the ball from this thing has a place to go into. So this is the correct tool for the job. At this point, this thing is free to be slowly pulled out. So be back in a second. Okay, so you pull on it like this. Ew, yikes. You can see there is a lot of dirt in there, so I should do this on the other side as well. And it, it is clipped in, in this area, so you need to somehow uh, pull it out. Impossible for me to do with one hand. Yeah, it's starting to come out also with one hand. And uh, there's that. It's removed. If you completely need to get it out, you need to push on this thing like this upwards and get it out. But for me, that's not required. But let's assume you need to change a light bulb. Uh, you need to undo these four screws right here. For me, uh, that's not required. I have other plans for opening this thing up. So now I will simply show you how to put it back together. Okay, cleaned up the area a little bit. It was extremely dirty. So that was the potential to get some rust in there. And I know for a fact because I had some rust on the trunk itself. Near uh, the corner, you can see uh, in another video that will be in the description. Okay, so to plug this thing back in, that's simple, it clipped. This thing needs to go in that hole and latch in place. The other things are just spacers. So make sure the wire is somehow tucked in here. And let me try and see if I can show you something. No, it's impossible to show you in there. It's too deep. Push it in here like that. Locked in place. All okay now. And we go in and put this thing back in its hole. Yeah, and this is uh, gonna be a bit of a hit or miss, especially while filming. Yep, be back in a second. Okay, so simply tighten this in place. Don't over tighten it because obviously it is plastic. So using this thing, oh, you, can, you can tear it apart. 
it's tightened by hand and just just a tiny bit with that so be back when I finish it's tightened now you close this hatch back up if you want to see something about these trunk nets uh, another video in the description and uh, there's that this thing is in place and we are done so hope this video helps you in which case please give it a like check out my other videos and as always see you in the next one bye